Namaste everyone. In today's video, we're going to focus on Patanjali's Yoga Sutra 1.34. Now, in this sutra, Muni Patanjali goes one step further and gives us yet another technique to be able to control our mind and reduce the obstacles in the mind. In the previous sutra, we understood the four different ways that we can control the mind in using the four virtue technique. And in this, we're going to understand the next step. So let's hear the sutra and then break it up word by word. The sutra itself goes Pracharadana Vidharana Bhyan Va Pranasya. Alright, so now let's understand it word by word. Pracharadan refers to a forceful kind of exhalation or a heavy exhalation. Vidharana over here refers to, in some commentaries, it refers to a controlled inhalation, whereas in some others, they call it a retention. The next word va is and, and the final word prana is the pranic energy of. So now, all together, what the sutra is trying to tell us is that the mind can also be controlled or the obstacles removed through a particular kind of breathing pattern or pranic energy movement. And here there are two ways of looking at it. Either we look at it as a very controlled inhalation and then a very deep and long exhalation or we look at it as the retention of breathing in between. But now here's what most commentators are saying. They're saying that because we cannot do retention of breath in this initial stage, therefore probably it's referring to just a particular simple kind of breathing technique where we just have to inhale in a controlled way and exhale. So I'm sure you've also heard many times if you lose your cool or you're getting nervous for something, people always say, hey, just calm down, take a few deep breaths. And this is similar to that notion where if your mind is agitated, all you need to do is relax, get the breathing back to normal and then continue whatever it is that you were doing. And that's why this particular sutra is very important as it's reminding us of the work or the impact that correct breathing can have on our mind. And therefore, truly through this sutra, if we are to control and use the inhalation correctly, then we'll automatically find ourselves getting calmer with that controlled inhalation and then that deep exhalation. Just thinking about it or just doing it already makes us feel so calm and it's definitely a great technique to practice. So Muni Patanjali has realized that everybody is of a different temperament, different people need different solutions. And so he's listing out a wide range of options for us to choose from. The initial ones were more to do with our attitudes and the cultivation of a certain kind of behavior. Whereas this one is a little more to do with our breath and the pranic energy. And the reason we have used the word prana over here is because prana is referred to as the life force or the driving force of all our bodies and our minds. So if you think about it in Hindi, when a person passes away, we often say the phrase pran chale gaye. And here we're talking about the pranic energy leaving the body and therefore causing the death of a particular person. So it is believed in Indian philosophy that the pranic energy is really what is allowing us to exist, what is giving us this life force. And so the representation of this pranic energy in our day-to-day -day lives is the breath. Because the breath is also that life force that we keep exchanging with the outer and inner environment. And it's because of this breathing that we can really survive and keep breathing and keep living. So therefore, this is a very, very important point to remember that the word prana here is denoting our life force, which also is represented by the breathing pattern or the breath. So that's what this sutra is trying to tell us and remind us that, hey, one more technique to calm down and control the mind as well as reduce the chitta vikshepas is through this breathing technique where there's a controlled inhalation and a long and a deep exhalation. So that's what the sutra is saying. 
once again quite a short and nice or cute sutra because it it is very simple to understand unlike a couple of other sutras which are usually much longer and need a much deeper explanation so this is what sutra 1.34 is all about if you enjoyed this video please do share it with your friends and your family and also please do subscribe to our channel so you can support us and be notified whenever a new video is uploaded you can also hit the bell icon to get all the notifications we look forward now to seeing you in the next video until then take care keep practicing and we'll see you soon namaste